So what I'm going to show you now is Altium 365 running on iPad. That's what you're going to see up here. And what I'm showing you on both of these screens uh, is effectively a mirror of what I've got actually on iPad today. Just log in and take a look at this. Okay, so I've got a list of my different workspaces. I'm going to pick one of these up and show you how this works. So you can see we can scroll through all of our projects, very similar UI to the one that we've got kind of on the web browser. You can come in, click on one of these projects, open that project up. It's going to load it all. And I get my layout. So that's what you're seeing right now up here on the board, layout. So we can look on the left-hand side. We've got the whole project structure. Again, all of our schematics, layout, so on and so forth. On the right-hand side, the properties of the project, comments, this kind of thing. So we can also switch this into 3D mode. So again, we've got full 3D capability on iPad as well. So now, Lee, this is an actual iPad application, or is this a web browser again? This is an actual iPad application. It's not web browser at all. It's been designed specifically for uh, iPads. So that's what you're seeing. Now, the other thing that we can actually do, could I queue 44, please? OK, so we've got iPad up here still on the right. But on the left-hand side, we've now got the web browser back up. So what I can come in and do is come in and comment back on this design. So from here I can put, OK, we'll take a uh, look and reply to that comment. And you'll see straight away, again, that that comment shows up in the browser. It will also show up in AD19. So all of these things are completely synced together. It doesn't matter if I'm working from Altium Designer 19. It doesn't matter if I'm working for web browser. It doesn't matter if I'm working from iPad. It's all just going to work together. Thank you.